day two of our day of halves. Uh, we're going to start something new and try and remove as much of the wheelchair ramp as possible. Uh, it chewed like 10 centimeters in the bus, so it had to go anyway. And it's just going to make our lives a little bit easier today if we can get rid of it. I guess after this, we're going to try and finish sealing the floor, hopefully lay down some foam underlay. And then if we get to it, we might try and remove some of the roof insulation. Okay, see how we go. So we're using a size eight Allen key and a nine sixteenths spanner and just undoing these bolts. I did say it was a had electric set. For what? This obviously does something. Is there anywhere to unplug it? Not that I can access. <laughs> no way. They're coming out. Can I get the WD? Either the battery's dead or we just broke it. So I cut this so we could get it off and I broke it. So now the hoist doesn't work. So we're gonna have to fix that. So as you can see, I finally got around to sealing the majority of the bus except that end section which we're still trying to work on the floor. Um, I put down these metal pieces. I've stuffed them down with the um, glue. And what I've also done is put some sealant all around the edges that way there's no way there's water coming in or out which will be awesome so i'll finish off the last couple of them now let it all dry a bit and then we'll look at laying down the the foam underlay which will be great. it's super exciting because i'm so over the sticky floor and change just wandered back to the shops for the third time today because he decided against my advice to cut the electricals down the back. So now the hoist is no longer working, which means we're not gonna be able to leave here today until it's fixed because we're not able to close it. Which is also pushed back, fixing the floor. So hopefully once I get this done, I'll clean up a little bit and I'll try and cut some wood to put down the floor. So I bought some terminals, a switch, and I'm just gonna connect the wire into the terminals and then up to the Switch and hopefully that will complete the circuit again. I also got some spare fuses, so if I lose any more, we got some extra. And electrical tape. Okay, so I've just stripped the wires and put the terminals on, so. Let's hook up the switch and hope for the best. I said hope for the best. We say hope for the best a lot. See how we go. Oh, is it see how we go? See how we go. Uh. 
Alright, let's see how we go. Let's see if I fixed it. As you can see, I fixed it. So the bus has some round corners at the back where we're replacing the wood. So what I've done is cut the size and then I've just gotten a, I did that with a circular saw. I just got a jigsaw. I've cut my curve. Now I'm going to see if it Got a splinter. So apparently you can't get 15 mil marine pliers, so we're having to do six mil and nine mil to equal the depth of our current floor. That means a lot of cutting. See if there's one fixed. So we've cut all our wood for the new subfloor and we've got some rust oleum that we're just going to put on the metal uh, before we put the subfloor down. It's yellow. Cool. Okay. Am I, is it all lit up properly? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're finally putting this up for down after two weeks. You gonna say how you're doing it? Yeah. So once I get this off, we've got some Sealy's liquid nails that we're just gonna put all down on this metal bit here. Um, put one panel on, put the liquid nails in between, and then put the other panel on top of it. Once it's all dry, we'll screw it probably next week. I said, I don't feel you need to be stingy on the liquid now. No. Liquid now is going to be our second best friend. Next to WD. Uh, my grinder is my best friend. Actually, I like the drill. So maybe like our fourth best friend then. I have no idea if this is the optimum method of applying liquid nails. Now to leave it to set and then we'll screw it next time. So after I took this yellow thing off, there were some buttons in these holes, which I have rewired up. So now we'll mount them on the inside of this little lift and we'll have our up down buttons inside. Or no, we'll probably mount them not on this, but inside the bus so that we can bring the lift up and down while inside. Okay, so we are finally up to the stage where we can put some underlay down on the ground. We've got some sound reducing underlay. It's also mold and mildew resistant. It's only three mils thick, which is awesome because we wanted to go as thin as we could whilst also giving good thermal properties so that the heat and cool doesn't come in or out. Um, so I'm pretty excited to not have a sticky floor anymore. Let's do it. We started today thinking it was going to be a really bad day. The wheelchair uh, ramp thing was just being difficult and nothing was going right. But we turned it around and it ended up being a pretty successful day. We got subfloor done, we got some of the underlay in, we got the wheelchair ramp to wear. I'm pretty happy with it until we can get a professional in. All the ceiling was done. Yes. Most of the ceiling. 
yeah. <laughs> all the holes were filled. Yep. We got terribly sunburnt. Very sunburnt. Oh, I'm pretty much a strawberry. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be fun tomorrow. But it was, it was good. It was a good day. <laughs> it, was, it was good. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Thanks. Hmm? You don't need the keys, just turn the hoist on. See, I'm telling you what to do.